All right, I had a couple people ask me about a particular beat I play, and um, I'm not able to explain it because I don't know how to read or write yet, but I decided I'm going to overcome my internet stage fright, and I'm going to try to explain it to you a little bit better as I'm learning how to read slowly. So it's uh, pretty simple to start. It starts in 6-8, so it's eighth notes with your right hand. And uh, the trickiest bit to learn in the beginning is that uh, the bass drum falls on, in a, in a six beat measure, it falls four times. So it's a triplet feel, so it falls on one and four, and it falls on the and of three and six. So that's the trickiest part to start, but it starts with just eighth notes, six, eight, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. So getting that down is the, uh, the important thing because that locks it all in. That's the one thing you can always fall back on. Essentially, your right hand and your right leg will be doing the same thing the whole time. Then uh, the other half of it is uh, just following eighth notes in reverse on the left hand. So as, as if it were a single stroke roll or whatever. So like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. It all sounds very simple, and it is. Uh, what brings about the weird polyrhythm sound of it is uh, you, what you do now is you take your right hand and continue in eighth notes and six eight. You alternate, starting with the cowbell, from right to left. So you go. One instrument at a time, just uh, the same amount of beats. You just switch between the three, kind of back to back and forth like this. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The cool thing about a pattern like this is that you can start it on any one of the three instruments if you change the one from, say, the cowbell to the floor tom. If you start on the floor tom, it creates a completely different sound using the same pattern. You don't have to, there's no new muscle memory, you just are moving over one, so to speak. So that, say, if you were to start on the floor tom, one, two, three, four, five, six. kind of experiment with each variation of places to start and end and uh, come up with different ideas that way. That's the way I do it, just trial and error. But um, after I had the basics of the uh, polyrhythm down, then you notice that on each time you kind of come around to the snare, if you throw a little, a little roll in there, you can change the mood and kind of, you know, make it groove a little bit better. And then I, I noticed if you come back on the, the last go around and switch the hi-hat at the end, it makes it even funkier, so it kind of adapted a little bit and sounded more like this. So that's kind of how it evolved. I don't know if that's helpful. I think uh, that's probably about as good as I can do for now until I learn how to read and write properly. But it's a work in progress. So I'll uh, just so you can hear it, I'll jam on the idea for a minute.
part was unnecessary. 